It is my pleasure to introduce uh, Dr. Tara Oyampera from, uh, from Nokia, um, Executive Vice President of Entertainment Communities. Um, Tara, why don't we start just by uh, you telling us just a little bit about what that actually means, Executive Vice President of, uh, of Communities and Entertainment. What, what is your uh, primary focus with Nokia right now? So my role is uh, entertainment and communities is, is really to look, uh, we have kind of a couple of, uh, whether they're businesses or experiences, driving them, which is like music is, is one of the major ones. We are, we are looking gaming also, and, and uh, mobile gaming, and then media in general, which is of course blending with the gaming, uh, gaming and music, where actually when you think about music, it's not only about, we will be talking about mainly about, the, hey, how is Council Music or Nokia Music Store doing, but it's all about, can we provide a really comprehensive or exciting experiences to the consumer? And, and we have decided as Nokia to really invest into these new businesses. We are not only anymore a cell phone company, but really moving into the, being an experience company, entertainment company. Now, I wanted to hear a little bit from your perspective about Comes With Music, sort of, um, you know, what is the business model with Comes With Music for you? And, um, uh, you know, what is it, how does it really come to life? What is the experience from Nokia's point? Yeah, so first of all, of, of course, it is the Comes With Music, it's a, it's a, the, the, the starting point that, uh, okay, what does it do for the consumer? I think that's always needs to be in the center. If you don't do something that uh, excites the consumer, that they will feel that they get value out of, it's not going to fly. And, and when we studied the, the music consumption, it was all about, hey, can we find it that uh, get, one could say, get rid of this uh, cumbersome buying process, really kind of make it easy for consumer, buy a device, and at the same time say that, hey, when you buy a device, uh, a Nokia uh, mobile device, you get the access, uh, unlimited downloads for a year, or it could be 18 months, or, or some other time. We started with the one year, we have also 18 months option. And you can actually experiment whatever music you like. And, and we needed to, of course, we cannot sort of to say that, hey, we have one million, we have like 100,000 songs, we needed to have all the majors on board, we needed to, we needed to have indies on board, and, and, and of course that's a big process. I think one other element is, of course, that we are working with the operators as well as retail partners in order to make sure that the, the, the product reaches the, the consumer in a, in, a, in a right way. And, of course, rights in, in all manners are very important. We, we are actually a, a, a holder of the uh, uh, intellectual property rights in a, in, a, in a big way, even though we are coming from the technology angle. So we understand what's the value of the rights, and in that way we are very respectful of the rights of the of the of the whether it is an artist, writer, a publishing companies, etc., and have been working, working uh, uh, with them, and, and I think the response has been has been uh, positive that we are doing something uh, unique here. People see the value and, and the investments that we are doing for the music. How does uh, how does comes with music fit into the overall strategic goals of Nokia? So, uh, if I look at this sort of, the, we have a, being a, a, a biggest uh, mobile phone company in the world, we are of course looking at 1 billion Nokia customers out there. How can we actually turn that, uh, let's call it uh, a, a platform, into something that is more than just a piece of hardware, that it is really providing new experiences and, and music and other services, gaming, uh, media, social location that is like a maps building then content of both of them are, are are part of the same strategy we want to turn a phone into an experience platform and music is i would say that uh, the one of the most important ele elements in in that that strategy tell me a little bit about nokia's other music strategies besides comes with music so we have a, a your brand certainly you've put yeah, your brand against a lot of music related properties yeah, yeah absolutely absolutely and so we have a number of, uh, number of strategies or, or activities here. Of course, the bigger vision is that this is about building a connection between the fan and the artist. I think that's, if we can build that well together with everybody in between and make it simple, exciting, and, and, and compelling, uh, we'll do well, and other parties will also do well. And this is about whether it is buying music, uh, experimenting with the music, whether it is going to a concert, using your great camera or video to deliver that experience to your friends and, and enabling these kind of experiences. It can be also like we are developing some exciting new technology that we call it the point and find where you take your camera and you point it to a, like a concert poster 
and it actually recognizes, we have some uh, sophisticated technology, it recognizes what is there, it brings you into your, into your screen then that, hey, want to download a track, want to buy a ticket, and it's almost like an augmented reality. Very, very exciting. Then we are also looking into, uh, into sort of the, from the marketing side, it's, we have a number of initiatives like Nokia Trends Labs, we have where people are coming and exp exp experimenting with, with music and new concepts. In Asia, we are also having an independent artist club. It's like a marketing vehicle where we are promoting uh, uh, unsigned artists. We are not planning to sign them, but we want to actually elevate them for them to make a career mm -hmm. in the music industry. And then uh, also in the media side, we are looking that, uh, uh, and with, uh, with these maps, we are looking that, hey, I come into Cannes, I want to actually find out what's going on in the city. There will be a content in the map when I open the Nokia phone and the map there that with highlights that what are the concert venues and you can click and buy a ticket or you can actually get the like, uh, for example, we are working with the, with the magazine, some magazines like Rolling Stones who is uh, actually providing content for, for uh, our phones that will highlight latest news and etc. So it's okay. all about the con complementing the sort of the, the simple listening to music with, uh, with other types of the experiences where the consumer is more willing than ever actually engage in also producing content themselves. I think there in MediaNet there will be a, one good example is Kite, which we have been also working with that they are, they are, they are sort of the, having a service where you can really interact and, and produce a content and so forth and we are promoting also that kind of experiences.